Turning now to Vice President Kamala Harris and her trip to Houston. She spoke before a packed house at the George R. Brown Convention Center this morning at the American Federation of Teachers Convention. This was the first labor union to endorse Harris for president. Ardea Wall takes us to Houston, where she addressed more than 3,000 union members. Day five of the Harris campaign was dedicated to the American Federation of Teachers. We need you so desperately right now. Oh my God, I still have goosebumps, like for real, I have goosebumps right now. Bring it on. As a teacher, it makes us feel seen, makes us feel heard. Bring it on. Just think about it. So we want to ban assault weapons and they want to ban books. She feels our pain and I appreciate her. But this week, former President Trump focused on another big issue for Texans. With all of the things they've done wrong, everything, the border, the borders are, oh, the borders are. When you look at how bad they are, you say, you know, I like Trump, but now I really like Trump. Her own body. For the crowd in the convention hall Thursday, Harris's speech gave them a spark. To think that we have the potential to have someone in office that is continuing the support of unions and strengthening the strengthening what we have to give to our kids is just it's just emulated. This is where we can make what we want become a reality. It's important to fight for what's best for teachers, but also for for what's best for working people everywhere. A battle for the White House. Both parties are just beginning. This is not personal with regard to Kamala Harris and her, her uh, ethnicity or her gender have nothing to do with this whatsoever. In Houston, I'm Dia Wall.